Hey guys, John from SurfFX, and we're having a look at the Starboard V2 foil board. Real original name, but hey, it is what it is. Um, this isn't a blue carbon, which makes it super light. I mean, really freaking light. So what it is, it's a full bi-ax wrap of a blue car of a carbon, and then they've got a bit of reinforcing extra glass on the deck in your standing area just for dents and dings. But they use this construction exclusively on their stand-up paddle boards, and now they've rolled it into their foil board construction. So really, really light setup. This has got to be one, this is easily the lightest board that we sell. Now size-wise, this is a 4.8. So our most popular size, why in the 4.8, you think it's really short, but it's still 40 liters. So it's got some thickness to it. While it's up and you have a look here, the rocker line is probably the key thing on the foil boards at the moment. So you want enough nose rocker that you're not going to bog in and pearl. And you want flat tail rocker so you have a nice, you know, the, the foil sits 90 degrees to the direction of your paddle. That way it's not kind of dive the diving down or trying to pitch you up. So the board will be level when you're moving. So what they've done with this on the bottom, a few other little tweaks. You've got a big smooth V through the front. Just to let paddling is a nice smooth entry onto waves and it's got a lot of help helps keep a lot of extra volume in the front so you can see the wide point there as well right up right under your chest to keep your head out of the water coming through the middle right about here at the, at the words uh you start getting a bit more of a big, big concave through the back end so that concave is just to help a little bit with that speed and paddling through the tail you've got a bit of a kick tail so water release as well as just a little bit more clearance when you're pumping and kind of when you're really low doing a turn. Pulled in nose also to try to give you a little bit more clearance through the nose when you're doing a turn and when you kind of got it on edge. So sometimes you can recover quite well, but if you caught that nose, whoop, over you go. You know, it's just going to roll on you. The deck has a nice concave to it as well. So let's you just sit comfortably, get your chest into the center of the board and it's not kind of rolling and sliding off either side. And then you've got concave through right through the back end. So when your foot's on it, it's got a real kind of shallow skateboard feel to it. So uh, most guys will put a full front and a rear deck grip on this, but you can wax it no problem as well. And it's it's still grippy, but really, you know, you can get that extra perch if you put that full deck grip on it. So again, with the weight, it's really, I can't stress enough the weight of these things. You know, the Starboard give the weights on their website for each board, but just getting it in your hand, people are amazed on the shop they just go wow that's just so much lighter um, even their boxes they have starboard being such a massive company were able to develop their own boxes so their US boxes here have a two layer PVC sandwich on the box setup uh, each box is but they starboard claim it's 140 grams lighter than a normal US box in installed so Way to go guys. That's uh, you know, that's 280 grams of weight savings just in the boxes, which is uh, which is pretty substantial Especially on a little board this this small So you really really feel that Looking forward to seeing a hell of a lot more carbon stuff coming through in the future